Welcome to 6.4 particle conversions. We are going to convert particles of one thing into moles, mass and the number of particles of the other thing using Avogadro's number is equal to one mole connection. And here is where we are in the grand scheme of things. And in our mole concept map, we are going to be examining this section converting moles of one thing using the mole ratio in the balance equation into mass and particles and moles of the other thing. And here are the four topics of questions we are going to discuss. And please write this down. First, you have to balance the equation. Um, then remember that particles can be ions, molecules or atoms. And whenever particles are mentioned, you're going to have a factor that is equal, uh, one mole is equal to the Avogadro's number as a conversion factor between that substance and the moles. Um, and you will use it each time. And the remaining calculation is the same as we have discussed before. So let's look at our question. If I say in a balanced equation, you have one mole of barium phosphate, um, in one substance and I ask you to find moles and particles, this is how you would do it. So in barium phosphate, you have one mole of barium phosphate because the coefficient is one. That means you have Avogadro's number worth of barium phosphate molecules there. And if I ask how many phosphate ions are there, there are two moles of phosphate ions in one mole of the compound. So you write two moles and to convert that to particles, you write Avogadro's number and then multiply it by two. So you, it should get 1.2044 times 10 to the 24 molecules, ions, sorry. And if I check, ask you for atoms of oxygen, it will be four point times two, which is eight moles. And that would be Avogadro number times eight uh, atoms of oxygen. Please uh, remember how to calculate this. First, we're going to look at moles conversions. And here is your first problem. Find moles of uh, FeSO4 required to produce 5.23 times 10 to the 28 molecules of barium sulfate. So we're going to deal with these two guys and the equation is also, also already balanced. You're going to start with the given value um, and as I mentioned we're going to start with the given value and remember that a one mole of barium sulfate has this many um, molecules. And then you're going to start here with the given value and molecules of barium sulfate will go to the bottom here. And that would be 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And on the top, that is equal to one mole of barium sulfate. Now we can cancel molecules of barium sulfate. And then in the next factor, moles of barium sulfate goes to the bottom and then you're going to put on the top moles of FeSO4 and that would be 3 moles of barium sulfate and 1 mole of uh, FeSO4 from the balanced equation. And then you're going to fish out the remaining values from the top and the bottom. And then you are going to multiply the sections pointed here in the calculator. So you're going, and then you're going to subtract um, 20, 10 to the 23 from 10 to the 28, like so, and you will get 10 to the 5. And when you multiply these two, you get 18.066. Then you will divide these two in your calculator. You get this number. And if you want, you can leave it here or write it in scientific notation. And this is your final answer. Let's look at another problem. Um, let's look at a particles and mass conversion. Here you'll have an extra factor with the molar mass is equal to one mole. Here you're asked to find the mass of FeSO4 required to produce this many molecules of FeSO4. So again, you are going to use molecules, uh, uh, one mole is equal to this many molecules, and you're also going to use um, the molar mass 
is equal to 1 mole and you have to calculate the molar mass of this compound as I have shown over here and use that in your calculation. We're going to start with the given value as just like before and then this given unit is going to go to the bottom here and that would be the number of uh, Avogadro's number. It's equal to 1 mole of barium sulfate. Now we can cancel out barium sulfate with barium sulfate and you need to have moles of barium sulfate at the bottom here and you are going to write 1 mole of barium sulfate is equal to its molar mass which is 400 grams on the top uh, in a little bit. Um, first we have to write do the moles to moles conversion so you are going to put 3 moles and uh, iron sulfate is 1 mole and then we do the one I said earlier. 1 mole of iron sulfate is 400. Then iron sulfate cancels out and you're going to fish out the remaining numbers like this and then multiply the ones on the top and the ones on the bottom and then divide them by each other. So 10 to the 28 minus 10 to the 23 is going to be 10 to the 5. And here you're going to get these two numbers. And when you divide them, you get 115.8 times 10 to the 5. You can leave it there or write it in scientific notation. And your answer is... 1.16 times 10 to the 7 grams FeSO4. Now let's look at the third kind of problem, particles to particles conversions. Here you are supposed to find the number of sulfate ions required to produce, um, that is here, barrier of iron sulfate required to produce this many molecules of barium sulfate. So these ions come from the ingredients or the reactants. We're going to start with the given value and also remember that one mole of um, FeSO4 has three moles of sulfate ions. Start with the given value and the given value unit goes to the bottom and you're going to put that is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 which is equal to one mole of barium sulfate molecules of barium sulfate cancels out then you have to put moles of barium sulfate at the bottom of the next factor and you're going to go to the moles of the other substance in the balanced equation then you put the mole ratios from the balanced equation and then in the third factor you're going to have moles of FeSO4 at the bottom and I, uh, moles of sulfate ions at the top. So sulfate ions uh, in FeSO4 is 3 as we mentioned over here and you're going to put that and moles of FeSO4 cancels out. Now you have to get rid of sulfate ions and go into sulfate uh, moles of sulfate ions into sulfate ions. So you're going to put moles of sulfate ions in the bottom. One mole has this many sulfate ions. Now you can cancel moles of ions. This one has four factors. And now you're going to fish out the numbers on the top. This one, that one. And these two cancelled out. So it's just that. And then at the bottom you have three. And the threes cancel out too. So your answer is 5.23 times 10 to the 28 um, sulfate ions. And that's it. Um, to perform particles calculations uh, with, uh, for ions, atoms, and molecules, remember that we, we use the 1 mole is equal to uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 20. I had a small typo there. I corrected it. Um, 1 mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 as a factor. And I need you to practice and do the problems in the worksheet and the exit ticket. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.